It is Monday morning and Saturday this yard is going to be transformed into my very own Spirit Halloween. Guys, I've been working on this for about two years, preparing things, getting things on hand, and Saturday is the moment of truth. By the end of this video, you will see everything set up, but as of now, I have got five days to get everything prepared and ready to roll so that Saturday morning, first light, I can come out here and set everything up have time to film everything, and then it's gotta come back down that day and back to storage. The plan is that right back here in the driveway, there's gonna be a big white circus tent. And to the right in the yard right here, there's gonna be an enormous inflatable tent that is completely dressed up inside and out to look like a spirit Halloween store. You've already seen the completed video. Now you get to enjoy the behind the scenes. I have literally spent the past two years buying things and collecting things and getting ready for this moment. Spirits open. Let's go. <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. So I am preparing things this week in both the garage and the guest room so that Saturday morning everything is 100% ready to go out. The first thing I have laid out here are these little carnival things here. We got the uh, triangular flags that are going to be going from the tent from like the corner down to the ground. This is a long roll of red and white striped plastic. These are red and white striped carnival theme things that wrap around the tables. And this is just a red one here. I'm not sure if I'll actually use that one or not. But as soon as Spirit Halloween revealed their theme for this year, which is the carnival, I went ahead and bought this stuff so I can top off this video. In the living room right here, I'm getting ready to start building shelves. I have two sets of these shelves, which are going to be holding things like the zombie babies and Nightmare on Elm street glove and things like that different kinds of merchandise that you find on the shelves at spirit halloween stores there's one and number two next up are the t-shirt posters this i ordered from amazon this is actually from ebay look it came with a little hammer 43 panels 40 connectors and a mallet gives us two sets of shelves for t-shirts and in this box we got two t-shirt wall posters to go above them i've also got this which i ordered somewhere along the way from ebay i believe who will you be i have a handful of step pad covers here and then i have some more in storage all right so i've got a handful more one two three four five more of the step covers i've got one switch plate here and then one two three four five step pads between my son and i we are getting all of the clown animatronics ready we're gonna just gonna go i think 100 percent clowns we're gonna do it all carnival since it's a carn evil theme this year so i think i have seven step pads and i think we're gonna have 15 animatronics so i'm gonna have to look through these and see who uses batteries and who doesn't so it's gonna be a mixture of batteries step pads and sensors going off i got these hula hoops that i actually bought for a different project a while ago i'm going to use some of these pool noodles and make a giant hoop with a skeleton standing by it we got the spirit bell that i custom made with the bell from uh five below i believe and that actually works Woo! And then we got this big spirit sign that I made that you see behind the checkout in spirit stores. And this is a whole bundle of Spirit of Children stars, the ones you sign when you make a donation. And I'm going to be making a wall where I stick those all around the spirit sign. And I just finished putting together that hoop with the skeleton, as you can see in the Carnival video, behind Barnaby the Bear. So he will be somewhere in the background in the entire setup. So I also have this right here which is a big white tent I'm gonna set up here and try some things. And it'll work, but it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. This is 10 feet this way, 
and 20 from that corner to that corner. 10 feet tall. And the popcorn boxes just came in the mail. I have been searching for about an hour for this piece right here. This is the banner that goes on the front. I bought this probably a year ago, maybe even longer. And this is one of the reasons it's taken me so long to get this whole thing together, because you can't just get a Spirit Halloween banner. And I don't know where they got it, but all I know is that I got it on eBay. And it was not cheap. Back over at the scare house, packing stuff up. I got the Hummer packed with boxes. Those are all gonna be set up around the uh, the animatronics and just everywhere. I got a couple of skeletons here ready to go. I got the big inflatable nightclub ready to go. That's what they call it, the nightclub. The $2,000 inflatable nightclub. And then we got another majorly awesome part right here, which were very difficult to get. I have six window posters. From Spirit, thank you to the person who came through and got me these. Everybody told me that these were one-time use, that they stick them to the windows and then they have to rip them down and they come off in pieces. And I got six of them that are in great condition. So those will be getting Velcroed onto the outside of the Spirit Halloween, the nightclub. And this is another thing that cost a pretty penny. And these are... Well, they're called feather flags. They're these big, tall flags that go out in front of spirit stores and blow in the wind. These are each 12 feet tall, got the spirit logo on top, says Halloween all the way down here. And then these poles go together and slide up the side here and you stick it in the ground. And that's what those look like right there. I may need to extend this a little bit with maybe a piece of PVC pipe or something to stick it in the ground. And I actually need to get more pipe to build this little internal mechanism here because only this flag came with one. This is the same thing, but it did not come with that pole. All right, Party City just delivered the balloons. And we've got, let's see, a pack of these awesome looking ones here. And then we got a big bag of 72 balloons. We're not going to be blowing all of those up, but, you know, better to have too many than too little. And I just finished putting all these empty animatronic boxes on the bed here. There's going to be a lot more coming. So I have these rolls of Velcro, and I've been going around the edges, putting a piece every so often around here on the posters so that they will stick on the uh, the inflatable house. All right, Wednesday night, I am still at it. I brought the Velcro home. I got the Velcro placed on the back of the banner that goes on the front, as well as both t-shirt posters that are going on the inside. I think that is everything that I need to Velcro, and man, this stuff better work because this has been a lot of work. Okay, it is Thursday, guys. We have one Two more days to repair, and then Saturday is the big day. I am back over at the scare house, and I actually just filmed the unboxing of my mystery box from Spirit Halloween. It is totally awesome. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. My son was back in here last night setting up some more of the animatronics. I see he did Monty over here, and then he was working on Mr. Punchy, but didn't realize that we need sand for him. So I bought some sand, I brought it in here today. Look at the face on that guy. He definitely needs the Aquafresh. So right now I'm getting prepared to put together this sign with the spirit sign. And this is gonna be the background that it is connected to. And then I'm gonna be putting all these Spirit of Children uh, stars on here. And I actually got these on eBay. There's a note with them and a signed star. And these are from a guy on YouTube called Chris the Prop Collector. If you guys want to check him out and subscribe to his channel. I believe there are 50 stars here. And check this out. Yeah, I told him to sign one. Chris the Prop Collector. So that's going to be going on the sign. And let's see what this note says. All right. Yes. Yeah, so here's the note that he wrote me. It's kind of a long one. So what I'm going to actually do is read his note in a fan mail Friday. Chances are you've already seen that, um, but I will show you the picture of Johnny Punk. What are those? And he's got a handful of different YouTube channels here, but yeah, make sure you check them out and subscribe to Chris the Prop Collector. Thank you, Chris, for the awesome stars. So I've got the boards put together. I've got the spirit sign mounted on there, and I'm getting ready to do these uh, stars here, and I just realized I don't have any double-sided tape with me, but the other thing I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to start writing names on these. I have so many of them to post. 
So you never know, you might see your name up there. All right guys, next morning it is Friday. I got the spirit sign done here with all the stars around it. I just need to put Velcro on the back. I got the t-shirt uh, posters here, trying to flatten them out a little bit. I got the beautiful, gorgeous wife in here. I'm sending her off to a hotel for the night so I can fill up the entire house with spirit Halloween goodness. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Yep. So by the end of today, I have to have everything 100% prepared and ready to roll out first light tomorrow morning about 6 a.m. The boxes are starting to pile up in here. I've got Rick Ratman here I still need to put together. By the end of today, this living room will be full of animatronics that are ready to go out. The garage will be filled with everything needed to set up the tents. I've got this giant tarp to go under the tent. I have stakes and these things for that. I have giant twisty stakes for the tent itself, for the inflatable rather. You have to have this kind of stakes or else it gets ripped out of the ground. I'm getting my extension cords ready here. This one is a giant industrial 75 foot indoor outdoor heavy duty extension cord with that thing on the end. This box here has two industrial size power strips, 12 outlets on each of these, and I got the ones that are spaced far enough apart that the animatronic plugs can fit in and there's nothing crowding them. Ropes and ties for the tent. Okay, big box of costumes. My wife has left the building. She's gone for the night. So I moved some things around in here so we have plenty of room for animatronics. Every animatronic that's gonna be going in this thing is going in the living room and probably some in the kitchen. Secret keeping cats and rats and a rubber chicken. Got the white tent over here, the blower, the giant inflatable tent. Picked up some sandbags from Home Depot to keep that thing from blowing away. Transporting animatronics from storage to my house now. We got Johnny Punk riding shotgun over there. All right, I got that first load over to the house. I'm back over here at the scare house. That other Nate guy is here and he is working on putting together the rest of these carnival uh, animatronics. He got Punchy here all set up. He's working on Beetlejuice right here, which I mean, is sort of a carnival animatronic. We figured he fit, so we're gonna do that. And uh, I mean, he, this guy has put together most of all these animatronics. He's been in here every day. I've only, what's that? It's like 90 degrees in this place every day. It's so hot in here. <laughs> but yeah, there's only one left after this, I think, and that's nozzles. And then uh, all these will be in the living room by the end of the night. It is coming along, guys. I'm getting tired. 7:18 Friday night. I've got most of the animatronics here. Um, I have to make one more trip over there to get, I think, four more. I still have, I think, three to set up tonight. I put together the giant flags that go out front, and I brought these shelves into the kitchen so that I could put zip ties on the ends to hang costumes on. I got this whole box of costumes here and I think a couple more downstairs. Oh, and I got Johnny Punk out in the garage. I'm about beat. I'm on my last trip from the scare house. I got Cotton Candy Dan here. I got Clowning Around and the creepy towering clown back there. That other Nate guy is finishing up with nozzles and bringing him with him. Oh my gosh, this whole house is just jam-packed with stuff. I had to disassemble two of those animatronics to get them in the Hummer. I'm gonna get those put together, get the rest of this stuff finished up and call it a night. And I'm gonna be 100% ready to roll first thing in the morning. All right, next morning, it's Saturday. Moment of truth, it is 5.57 a.m. I got up at 5.30, had a shower. It is time to put all of this together. raining. How crazy is that? I got one hour into setup. At least I didn't have the motor out over here. 2% chance of rain right now and it's pouring. But knowing the weather in Ohio, 
it should stop any minute and that should be it for the day. So this means I'm gonna have to build some sort of a little tent or something over that fan. So I'm gonna take a square table and maybe a tarp, set the table up over the fan, drape the tarp over it, and in that way, if it does continue to rain, the fan will be protected. And that's exactly what I just did. Blowers on a piece of wood underneath the table, covered with tarp. We'll leave that up for now. Starts raining again, we'll pull it down. Not today, Satan. Looks like we got some help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's 94 degrees out there. We're almost ready to make the actual video. We got a little bit more stuff to do. So hot. We are both just absolutely dying. <laughs> We are done. Look at us. Look how hard we are sweating right here. We are about to die of a heat stroke. And there it is, guys. The finished product. It has taken us all day long to get this set up. Oh, my God. It is 6, 12 p.m. right now. So I've been at this for 12 hours. Uh, my son there, that other Nate guy, 
he came over about one o'clock so he's been at it all day with me we got those on the sides we got the big flags up let me just show you real quick here a picture of what i envisioned when i was planning this and then we're going to compare it to what this looks like right now yep there you go that's a mock-up and then that is the real thing right here of course i didn't know i was going to do this i decided that late so anyways it's all done and if you guys have watched this video then chances are you've already watched the video that i made about this whole thing with it all set up if you haven't go watch it now and you can see a bunch of awesomeness i'm exhausted <laughs> <laughs>